guys, I just wanted to create a video real quick of how to create your own Magic Mirror module. There's documentation on this online, but I didn't find anything on YouTube. So I'm gonna show you how to create your own Magic Mirror module, MMM. And I created one recently. It shows a random word from UrbanDictionary.com. Here we're gonna just get the top post from a certain Reddit subreddit, I think, and display it on the mirror. If you're not familiar, Magic Mirror is a community project that basically is a dashboard that displays on a monitor. And in front of the monitor, you put a one-way mirror and it allows the light from the monitor, the display in the back to pass through and it reflects in the front. So it gives you the this optical illusion like the text is written on the screen and it updates as, as time goes on and people put like the clock and their calendar and their weather on there. There's a bunch of different modules that, that are supported that people have already built, and you can look them up online or on GitHub or on Reddit. So I thought I'd just do a walkthrough and kind of explain how things are. So here you'll see on the left-hand side, I have the core module um, documentation open on the magicmirror.builders website. And on the right, I have my VS Code open, and I'm in my Magic Mirror directory. So I have cloned the repository on my computer and I'm in my GitHub folder. So here's all the magic mirror files. And then within here, I set up a new folder called Mod module walkthrough, MMM dash module walkthrough in the modules folder. And here's where, where the code is going to live. So just using your documentation, I copied and pasted the hello world example, and I'm going to save this. And then we're going to go into the config file. And then here in the top right, Let's add the module, um, module walkthrough. And something to look out for is this, in the config file, this line, this name has to match, obviously has to match the name of the module itself. So let's go back to our modules folder here. And it's registered, the module's name is registered right here in this first argument. So module.register, and then this is where the module's name is supposed to go. So if we save this and we save the config, on the top right, we should see um, this hello world example that's being rendered using this JavaScript file. So again, I'm in my magic mirror directory. I'm gonna do npm run start. And it boots up an example in Electron. And you'll see here, here's an example of the Hello World. On the top left, we have a clock and calendar. Um, but on the top right, you see Hello World at the bottom underneath the Urban Dictionary. Let me actually remove that just so we can um, see it a little bit more clearly. And here you'll see we have Hello World. So that is outputting from our file. So that is step one. Okay, step two is let's figure out how to display something actually worthwhile. So let's, for a moment, just look at some of the code here. So I did declared a variable called saying, and there's a saying, hey there, I'm a module. What I can do is change the default text to saying, and we can verify that what's happening within the module itself is coming from a variable. I also, down here, added a header, so on the documentation there is a bunch of subclassable module methods which you can use in your, in your module, um, things like getting style sheets, um, getting translations, this, in this example there's JSON for different languages, um, headers in here too, so I'm going to just use this function to create a header for the module walkthrough. And here, let's see if this variable is um, correctly being passed into the default. We should sh we should see um, this string here on the module, even though it's living outside of the module itself. So let's uh, let me restart the server or the uh, electron. Here we go. Yep, top right. Hey there, I'm a module. Perfect. Now we need to get the data in, and I suggested that maybe we pull in some data from um, Reddit, maybe like the top three 
results or something in from a subreddit. So let's do do that now. Um, so these are the titles right here. Are the top three titles of the week. Um, for R slash programming. So I don't need this anymore. So here, if we wanted to just change programming to memes, we could update the path. And then here's the top three memes, uh, the t to the top three post titles under R slash memes for the week. Anyways, you can see how you can build it out from here. You could do stuff like a countdown. Let's do that really quick instead of having this top posts. So you can imagine if um, you wanted to do something like uh, put in your birthday, you can set it to a variable and using moment, you can return um, how long it's been. So here is 21 years ago for from this date, 2001. So here's an example of getting um, today's date and comparing it to when Christmas is. I just found this JavaScript online. There's probably an easier way to do this. Um, but the remaining days until Christmas is set to this variable. And if I restart the server, it should. I also updated the uh, the header here. Where's the header? Oh, that's wrong. Where is the header? Here we go. Updated the header. I changed the inner HTML variable to the remaining days. Let's run this and we'll see if this works. Days until Christmas, 331. Awesome. So, yeah, basically, that's just a, a look around. There's a lot more to this project, but this is just to get, get you started and to understand kind of how everything fits together. If you're interested, I did make a module for Urban Dictionary, which generates um, a new random word every three minutes, and it gives you the title, the description, the example, and the author. I'll link that below, and it kind of breaks down into um, just the basic JavaScript file that we just went over. It's a little bit more in-depth. There's more of a, uh, a template at the bottom. It kind of outputs um, different divs for each of the separate variables and it also has an external um, style sheet here so i'll link this repo below but i hope this was helpful if you're developing uh, modules for the magic mirror i wish you good luck and uh, yeah hope this was helpful thanks so much thanks for watching have a great day